All right, so I thought I was filming, but I wasn't, but I'm kind of gonna give you guys a little breakdown of what I was doing. So I wanted to show how to process a columnar cactus. Um, pretty much what we're doing is we're cutting all of the nodes, so all of the growth points. So on cactus, it's anywhere that there is a spike, right? So if I find tissue with the spines coming out, that's a node. So pretty much what's in that flask is just a tiny piece of tissue with a spike on it. Um, we're leaving a little bit extra tissue for the bleaching process because it's going to kill it off a little bit. So this kind of helps leave some companion cells to help the, the growth be promoted. All right, so that's what I did for the columnar cactus. As you can see, I cut off all of the good spikes and the top completely and then broke it down into individual spikes as well. I am not using this because there's more likely to be bacteria or fungus contamination on these lower parts with the scarring, but the pieces that have good nodes like this, I'm going ahead and just cutting it off. Again, you would cut it, but just to show you, so that has the node in it and that is quality tissue. Okay, so that's how you process the nodes off of columnar cactus or euphorbia even, but each growth point comes from where the spines are. So this is a good spot, All right? So again, you could cut that with your scissors, but just to show you, that's the growth point, All right? So that's really where the meristematic core is and what will regenerate a new cactus. All right, um, I was also showing really quickly with the lofts. I'm going ahead and cutting it off. You can see those little spots are where the tufts are, and I'm just cutting it down into individual nodes where there's at least one tuft, one little spot. You can see this one has multiple. The roots are very dirty in plants. Usually there's a high amount of fungal spores in here. We're gonna go ahead and try to see if we can surface sterilize these um, and if they'll grow back. But most likely the roots um, will die and um, the nodes will definitely regrow back. So that's how you process tissue for a columnar cactus and then any type that has a tough cactus. So an areocarpus would be the exact same way. You cut it off and then separate all the tuft areas and then go ahead and put it inside of the media, okay? Like I actually have one more there. So you can see the spine. All right. And remember, I have a video already on how to actually do the surface sterilization. So this is more about the processing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you really quickly. Um, how I surface sterilize these. Um, it's not gonna show you the end of it, but it'll at least show you um, what I do. So the first thing I like to do, because it's very hardy, I'm putting in 70% alcohol. This hopefully kills any external bacteria, some spores potentially on there. We're only gonna have it in here for about one minute, 30 seconds to one minute. Um, always check your tissue and make sure it's not dying off or you need to lower the time or the concentration of the chemical. So we're using 70% isopropyl alcohol. Again, just a quick little rinse here. This strainer just makes our life easier. Obviously, you could just decant it off and rinse. All right, so I have some sterile water here. And this first part, so we're gonna go ahead and get all those out. You wanna remember to rinse your plant material and you also want to rinse the beaker that you just had because the residual alcohol, when it mixes with the bleach, will form a chloroform-like compound, 
and it's very toxic to your plant tissue and most likely would kill it and it's not good for you to breathe this way. So we got our little pieces in here. Right. The idea is to not touch it with my hands unless my hands are clean and sterile. So, okay. so now we have that tissue processed. Let's just get a quick rinse before our bleach wash. And perfect. here. All right. So from this step now, I'm going to add a 20% bleach and they are going to sit in here for 25 to 30 minutes, most likely 30 minutes. And then after that, they're going to be put into our tissue culture media which I have available on Etsy. The same media that you're gonna see in this video is the same exact one that I'll be using. Same hormones, same vitamins, everything. Um, so you can follow me along to see how it works. Maybe you can give it a try. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and add in this 20% bleach. Okay, so this is 20% bleach with um, a little drop of soap in it. And you want enough liquid inside of the vessel so that you can shake it around and that the, there's even distribution of surface area. Right. So now with this, I'm actually gonna put a cover on top of these and have them shake for 30 minutes before I do the induction. So as long as you follow all of these steps and do the exact same thing, you should have success. So again, when the 20 minutes are up, I'm gonna dump out all of this bleach water. Then I am going to rinse it with sterile water very well. There cannot be any residual bleach at all or it'll kill your tissue. And then we put it on the media. So thanks for watching.